I'd say definitely identifying your why. The same reason that you're in business might not be um, the same rationale as to why you might be on Instagram. And your why might be different for Twitter versus Facebook versus Instagram. Um, and the why is simply, you know, what's the entire point of me really having this page? Is it for my personal brand? Is it for my business brand? Is it just to, you know, grow, grow an audience? So once you're able to really kind of hone in on your why, then, you know, ask yourself, well, why are people following me? You know, what is it about me specifically? What is it about my business? Um, or really the topic of the page, like why would people follow? Is it interesting? Is it fun? If your page now consists of you just posting selfies and, you know, pictures of your salad or that great Indian spot that you went to, you know, sorry, but that might not be enough. You, that, that's not really interesting. So, you know, really kind of add some personality to it. If it's, you know, because you want to be a brand influencer, do people find you friendly? You know, are you, could you be someone's friend in their head? I know from following certain people on Instagram exactly how they would answer certain things, exactly what they would say about certain things. And it's because of the way that they've been able to curate their page. I can get a sense of who they are. I like them. I find them interesting. And I want to know more. If you kind of, you know, just take a step back and look and say, hey, um, with your page, is this something that, you know, people like? Um, is this something that, um, you know, is attractive? Would I be considered, you know, the popular person in high school based off of this page? Then, you know, I, I feel like you really have a good base for, um, for your why. Um, the second part to that is really like after you figure out that part and things that might be um, interesting to you might not be interesting to the type of people that you want to follow. So specifically speaking for me, I am super private. I'm actually very, very shy. But by my page, you would not be able to tell that because I'm always constant like, hey, 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 life of the party. Um, and that's because honestly, I know that that demographic or the people that respond well to me. Um, those are things that they respond well to. And so, unfortunately, nobody wants to see me curled up with my glasses on, like, reading a business book. Yes, I show them, but I might show them, you know, on my desk with, um, like, some pretty flowers, some perfume, some makeup, just something more interesting versus, you know, like, hey, this is, this is real life. Like, yeah, you can, you can still show real life and be real, but jazz it up a little bit so that it's more interesting. Um, so the second part would be consistent messaging. Once you really hone in on that, why just saying, okay, these are the types of posts that I need to post. Um, so like Liam said, for one of my pages, um, I have a hair salon. You can only look at, you know, like a Bob so many ways before you get tired of it. And so we add interesting topics like when you go to a hair salon you really want to dish with your stylist on all the hot gossip and things that's going good um so we'll cover you know like award shows Ooh, what was she wearing why did she do that with her hair do you like this would you dye your hair that color um we we go outside of the envelope so that it's not boring and so that our clientele for that page know you know when i come to this page like i know i'm getting the same experience that i would in that salon um, and so we just cover different topics. We call them, you know, shop talk and we ask for our clientele's opinion. And that is something that, you know, just kind of helps them feel more relatable. Like, you know, they could friend us. It might be, you know, like a cute Bob. Hey, what do you think about this? Oh, I think this is really cute. I might try this. Or, oh, I really wish that she would have worn her hair longer. It's just, it just creates the dialogue and it gets you um, absolutely more in tune with what your audience is thinking, how they respond to, to certain things.